Here's a quick little video to kind of show my uh, QRP portable station uh, go kit. Basically it's a backpack that uh, my wife got for me. I had it embroidered with my uh, call sign W2AEW. But it contains uh, my portable uh, station, uh, all kind of self-contained. Right in the front pocket here there's uh, some various spools of coax and things like that and some other wire. Off in the side pockets over here there are things like uh, the charger for my batteries and some other uh, DC power cords and things like that that you'd use to hook up to various power sources depending on where I go. Uh, the other pocket over on the side over here, this has got just other bunches of spools of wire and things like that to use as uh, antennas or ground wire or whatever it might be. So inside uh, is are the antennas, the radio, and uh, all of the other things that you need. So we open this up. See a number of different things here. So uh, one thing inside this box right here. This is a. Uh, I've got a couple of spools of, uh, of rope that I'll use to kind of toss over tree branches and things like that. A couple of different sizes and things like that. I just have them on these little cardboard spools. And then in here, this is a uh, PAR NFED uh, antenna, and this is good for 40, uh, 20, and 15 meters. Uh, really nice, uh, you know, end-fed antenna is really convenient for, you know, portable operating because it only has to be suspended at one end. And uh, I've used this, tossed, you know, sat on the, the roof deck of a beach house and tossed it off the roof. I've uh, thrown an end up into a tree and it works, uh, works really well. So that's one antenna. The other antenna that I bring with me, uh, this is, the box is a little beat up here. This is the, uh, uh, called an MP1 by a company called Super Antenna. It's basically a kind of a, a uh, manually adjusted, uh, I guess what we call a screwdriver style antenna. It's got a couple of, an adjustable loading coil, there's a telescoping whip and a tripod and a little 80 meter coil here. So a nice little portable vertical antenna that uh, works really well. Inside here is also my power source. I've got a pair of these uh, seven and a half amp hour or seven and a half hour uh, gel cell batteries. Everything with the, uh, the power pole connectors on them. So I've got one here. And there's a second one in here uh, as well. So uh, these, uh, I'll get uh, several hours out of each of these batteries. So uh, really good for uh, portable operating. Also in here, this is a neat little device made by a company called Astro Flight. This is a little uh, power monitor. You stick it in line with the battery either when you're charging it or when you're uh, using it. And it not only shows you the uh, battery voltage, but it also shows you the total amount of amp hours that have gone either into the battery or out of the battery. So it kind of be able to monitor, you know, how much charge you've used or not used uh, within your cell. So great little product there. And the rest of this is the radio box. In the radio box here, uh, nice little handle. So mostly this is fairly self-contained once you have the antennas up. Uh, with this box inside here is the radio and some of the other associated equipment. So this is the radio I use here. This is the ICOM uh, IC703. 10 watt uh, HF and 6 meter transceiver. Actually has a built in tuner which is kind of nice. Little bale at the bottom, I put a little rubber piece of rubber hose on that to make it uh, a little bit non-slip when it's sitting on the bench or, or wherever you happen to be using it. So uh, very, very nice to use. Again, convert it over to the, uh, the power pole connectors. I've got my, uh, my little mini log book that I'll use when I'm operating portable. So I put the, all my contacts in there. So uh, just a nice small thing to have when you're out in the field. And then also in the rest of this box has got the microphone, uh, other things like that. But I also got another tuner here. This is a nice little tuner. I built this as a kit a couple of years ago. It's called uh, the ZM, uh, ZM2. It's uh, called a Z-Match type tuner. And uh, with the Z-Match tuner, uh, I, can, I can basically run balance line. I can run a single wire. I can run a coax fed antenna. And it has a built-in SWR indicator, this little LED that's right here. You throw it in the tune position here, and you basically adjust to make the LED go out. There's a, a simple little low-power bridge uh, that's in there looking for a, a match, and then once you've uh, tuned up uh, and got your good match, you flip to operate, and, and you're good to go. It's a great little tuner. It's a fun little kit to build. Uh, as I said, the rest of the box is just a microphone, a power supply, you know, a couple of other little things depending on uh, you know what we, what you might need out in the field. But it's a fun little kit, and it all fits in the backpack 
it's a little heavy with both gel cell batteries, but uh, but it certainly is uh, makes it convenient to be able to move things uh, out into the field and and set up a station in a portable way.